Hello there, I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Right, the sun is, sun is all over here on my creations. And yeah, it's been a long time since I've made a video. So first things first, uh, I, what I always do is cover my, you know, table with a paper. I'm using a chart paper over here and these are acting as a paper weight over here. And then what I'll need is a cardboard first. And what I have to do is, you just have to roll this cardboard and make it like this now i'm not doing this in front of you because this is very easy and it saves time and i'm also what i've done is is just close this bottom thing by cutting the cir circle cardboard and then i have wrapped it with a normal cello tape now what kind of tape i have i also show uh, this is a tape that i have used you can just cover it it's very important that you cover it with a tape okay and then after what i'm gonna do is also add tape to my base and now what we're gonna do is i'm gonna take some clay over here and i'm gonna start building it but what we're gonna build first of all now if, if you guys have seen the caption and description and the photos you know what we're gonna make we're gonna make a bucket then what we're gonna do is these two our uh, clays where we grill mold it i have these two resin and the hardener and i'm gonna mix them and I don't want this in a highly large quantity, hence I'm taking only small portions of this clay as you can see over here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix it. Once with the once the clay is kneaded and ready, it's completely white. What I have to do now is first you know make this thing a little bit flat. Now there are ways to make it. Uh, you can also use this cello tape roll and you know you can just roll it like this. That helps. And then what after what you have to do is just roll this over. Please make sure I'm saying this again that add tape to your cardboard roll. Okay. So and so you can give it a shape like this. Uh, if you're a beginner level, then this cylindrical normal thing will do. And just so for your information and since we added this tape can you know easily remove this it won't stick as you know that this clay doesn't stick to plastic i said this many times in my previous tutorials but you know buckets are like a kind of a cone shape or i don't know what's the word for that but yeah so in case if you're not able to make something out of cardboard you know something this kind of shape out of cardboard then it's completely fine uh, hence i showed this one so now what i'm doing is i'm adding clay over here like this and i'll cover this complete thing with clay so uh, like this you can cover it up and you know to smoothen this surface you can use this plastic background like this you can roll it so that it gets smoothened or you can also use your cello tape roll that's how it will look after once it's completely smoothened up and what i'll suggest is that while smoothening Please make sure that these this layer doesn't go very thin because the clay then it might come off later on. So what I'm gonna do right now is cut the above layer over here like this. I'll use a spatula and I'll cut it. So once this is completely cut off, what I have to do is just remove this extra portion. I won't throw it away. You can either you know make balls of this or just keep it away. You know what? If in case you want to know what you can do to you know for such extra clay portions if they remain off then what you can do you can watch my other youtube video dedicated especially for these type of things do check out my other youtube videos as well in case you are not familiar with this clay there is a good beginners tutorial video as well you can simply check that out it dried up i kept it for around more than two hours now and to remove it what you have to do is just simply pull it out and now you can see that you know there is this hollow shape because it didn't stick to this plastic and this is the thing that uh, i got to know about it accidentally when i kept the clay on a plastic surface and then after some time i saw it that it wasn't stick it wasn't stuck to it so i removed it out and here it is it's ready i've painted completely it is a very simple thing that i've created you know you can see over here it's hollow i just painted black and i've added silver outside 
it's a very hollow simple it's a very simple thing but you can surely create you know do some paint designs so also you can try out different designs on on this and you can create amazing types of buckets like this now what i'll do is i'll add a i'll add a wire on this just i had made two holes just to insert the wire over here see now you can see it's a bucket it's ready the bucket right now you can also store water in this by the way because this material is completely water resistant like and it's like completely like mc right so yeah like this so yeah you can create uh, whatever designs you want you can you know now what i have i'm doing is just i'm adding a bottle over here i just get it small easy bottle from molded only now i also need some ice for this bottle uh, these were some resin pieces now i'm not showing how to do stuff with resin because there are different videos for that available and i myself don't use resin a lot so i'm not much expert currently in resin but these were some extra left out resin pieces which i had cut down with the help of scissor and since many of you are you know uh, like uh, new to this thing or some even kids might watching it and resin is little bit harmful harmful for kids because there are lots of precautions while making it so i avoid using resin but yeah this this was some previous uh, resin pieces now i'm gonna add them over here just to give it an ice effect yes and now it is ready now i also added glue to this uh, resin things or you can call it ice it's not sugar by the way so like this you can create more cool and easy stuff with the help of this clay what i have created is very simple and basic you can create more complex things right now oops you can also create it in bigger size and i my main intention was to show this technique that what you can do with the help of uh, cardboard tape and fabricate mold it which means epoxy clay so this is enough for now and now i'll enjoy this drink and till then see you next time with a new creation